And we're moment. live. Oh, okay. We put it here. <laughs> so, welcome to our wine time, episode thirteen. And um, my name's Haley, and this is my name's Regan. <laughs> And we've got Liam, our Facebook expert here. Back again. He's back again, guys. Yes. Back in way. <laughs> so he's going to talk to us about. And, um, my name's. Oh. Um, and he's going to talk to us about our training program called the Business Blitz. But before we get into that, wine, wine for you guys. <laughs> because this is our wine time. <laughs> we we <laughs> were talking today to how we need to probably change the picture. To one person holding the wine and one person holding the cup of tea. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of both of them should be holding wine, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, today we are drinking a Windy Peak Pinot Noir from the Yarra Valley. Noir. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Um, <laughs> from the Yarra Valley, it's so a 2016. It looks and smells delicious. So, do you want the honors? Do you want to try sure, it? Yeah. Tell us well, what you think. Go and, yeah. <laughs> it's got a, it's a, a, a very uh, warm and dry, um, oh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, palette, he's Googled the palette, and he's reading. The palette reading. is uh, very textured and elegant, with a gen, with gentle tennis. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Liam. <laughs> and now you say that. Liamo. Well, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I expected more from you. <laughs> I'll stick right. your Facebook market. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not quite the wine connoisseur, but definitely the Facebook marketing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the reason we brought him on today is because he runs the training called the Business Blitz. And it's a very important training. Mm. Um, and But I wanted to let people know what it was about. We wanted to discuss it, um, who it's for. Um, it's a and very popular product that we offer as well. A lot of people really um, like doing the business blitz because they learn a lot from it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell us what the business blitz is. Right. So the business blitz sort of came about um, the start of this year because obviously Kim um, has been running a lot of trainings of you know while, while he's been running uh, your social voice, but um, the the Typically, we're more high end, so they're sort of a bit more of a higher price point for people to get in. Yeah. And um, you know, obviously, seeing a lot of what Kim does on social media, people are like, oh, I love what you do, but it's just for where I'm at in my business right now, it's just a little too much for me to get involved. So what we said we're like, well, you know, we could probably do something where we offer some support to uh, you know business owners who are just in that sort of initial startup phase of getting their pages together, starting to run some ads, or they maybe just already have some experience running Facebook ads and maybe not quite getting the results that they're after. Um, and just learning the real sort of fundamental basics of what you need to do to start generating leads, because you can do it really quickly um, and really cost effectively if you do it right. But the problem is, is we're, we're drowning in so much information and lacking implementation. So it's mm -hmm. like, you can pretty much go out and Google how to do it, but there's a million different ways from different people telling you to do different things, so it just gets so overwhelming and confusing when it's just a simple few steps if you take, start implementing, doing the work, um, and you can see results pretty quickly. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we basically just said, look, let's do that, and then we can help people kind of build the business up, start generating some leads, get some cash flow in the business, and then look at um, moving and, and um, ascending up into some of the, the bigger programs that we offer where you get some real, you know, um, amazing value and content, mm -hmm. obviously with, with Kim and, and myself and, and everyone else in, in the team, but um, it just opens up the door for more more people to get better results, mm. build a stronger, you know, um, business and really sort of grow that, that relationship with with everyone involved. So, yeah, that's, I guess, the... The, uh, the blitz in a box. Yeah. So, so what kind of people um, are enrolled in the program and what kind of businesses, should I say? Yeah, yeah look, it's, at the moment we've got um, probably about, I don't know, maybe, it's probably about 60 odd people that have come through uh, or in, in the program at the moment. Um, and yeah, it's a wide range of, of, of base, basically uh, just about every, well not every niche, but there's a lot of different varying niches that are in there because it's it's like if you're doing business um your ideal client is most likely going to be on facebook given that there's like one and a half billion people that are on there so yeah. 
you know, if you're not doing Facebook marketing within your business right now, then you're leaving money on the table, essentially. So any any business that is either already doing um, Facebook or just sort of starting out and maybe not getting results or any anyone that's thinking about, you know, I need to kind of get with the times and get involved may not have quite enough to pay someone how to do it. Yeah. I, I encourage business owners to at least um, have an understanding of how it works because it's like, um, then you know how to how how to find and outsource and, and um, know what you're looking for when you want to bring someone in onto your team, mm-hmm. um, because obviously there are a lot of people out there that kind of don't really know what they're doing, but they're kind of like, yeah, I'm an expert because it's a hot hot topic at the moment with mm-hmm. um, you know everyone doing it, but obviously the results speak for themselves. But yeah, if you if you have a bit of an understanding of of how to actually do it and, and what the I guess the principles and the philosophies of, of being successful in, in um, lead generation. And the, the thing is, what we teach is it's, it's, it's um, philosophies that can be applied in, in marketing in, in general. So it doesn't matter if, if Facebook was to fall over tomorrow, which is highly unlikely, but if that were, were the case, you could still take these same principles and market them in, in different platforms and different businesses and so it's the universal yeah exactly yeah. so I mean essentially what what we're teaching is the same stuff that was taught like there's a, one of the books that Kim has was written in, in 1912 and it's like absolute gold but it's what mm. every every well-known marketer has has kind of gone the fundamentals yeah, it's yeah. gone through yeah, yeah. Um, since wow. you know starting out so um, yeah and Kim's not done too bad right <laughs> It's going all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, hey Ash, <laughs> see your <Yeah>. comment. <laughs> um, so the other thing I wanted to ask: what kind of things are you learning in, in the program? So, if someone comes on board, what are they expecting to see inside the program that you're running? Yeah. Um, so we've got a, um, I guess a, a, a bit of a process of firstly. Um, just learning a bit more um, how to identify who you want to work with because obviously, you know, because you can reach so many people, um, a lot of the time people go onto Facebook and they just, they do really, really broad marketing and then nothing happens and they go, oh, well, you know, that doesn't work for my business. But it's, it's like, well, if we, we can actually narrow it down and then go through the process of working out what it is that you're going to offer um, your client and, and in a way, like you might, might already have an idea of, you know, what you want to do, but... Um, understanding how to communicate that effectively through ads and then obviously um, leading them on a journey um, of educating them about your product or whether you need to do more sort of, um, I guess, uh, branding. like branding, branding, <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, branding stuff, yeah, yeah. That's so, a common thing I, I feel, yeah. I always get, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's quite not prepared, so they need to come to me yeah. first. I mean, essentially, the, the main thing that we're looking for is, is getting results quickly yeah. so that we can start getting into the, the bigger, longer-term strategies that you need to be thinking about in your business um, mm. alongside using Facebook marketing. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's really just simple stuff. What do you need to do right now? What can you do um, in your business right now to start getting results? And I think the biggest thing um, that we offer with it is, is probably the support. So every week we have a... Um, uh, a live call with myself or one of the other guys on the team and we go through and actually answer every question that we have or we go in depth into what it is that you need to be do, doing right now to um, to start seeing some results coming through. So um, yeah, I think the, the support, because again, it's like, yeah, you can go out and, and opt in for a whole bunch of different, you know, lead generation eBooks or whatever and it's probably got some good content in there but it's like, you might hit a one wall, which can be overwhelming for you at that point in time, but it's just, you know, it might be just a really simple solution or thing that you need to do or, you know, just really small things that you can um, tweak and tune and start seeing results coming through, um, mm. yeah, really quickly. So so there's the so there's an, an online training. Yeah, so we have, have a, um, a online um, a membership site. So obviously got you know the videos and content that we go through and, and all that sort of stuff, but also a um, a Facebook group where we obviously um, offer support and you ask questions and all that sort yeah. of thing. 
and then obviously the, the the weekly call that we that we do as well. And that's quite good having a Facebook support group because people can help each other, yeah, and yeah. learn off each other as well, which is good. Absolutely, it's open conversation. And it's quite nice because you're all businesses and kind of like is a bit networking yeah, at the same time. As well. Because yeah, I exactly. remember when I was in the group, there was I was putting stuff up and people commenting yeah. on an ad that I was doing and giving me tips and advice before exactly. you'd even yeah. got a chance to get on yeah. and giving me that advice Absolutely. from your from yeah. your end. Yeah. So I found that really valuable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's people in there that are from um in you know varying uh, levels and and degrees of experience with with um, Facebook and everyone's in there obviously to help everyone out. So um yeah. And then you get on the call each week, and that's where you answer everyone's questions, yep. right? Yeah. So they so can... we start going in a bit more detail around, you know, like um, how how you can actually read the um, like you might have an ad running, but like trying to understand the data and the metrics and all that sort of stuff can be so confusing. And you go, mm. like, how do I even make sense of it? So just I having know, someone so. have a, a, a look over it all and um, give you some feedback and, and say, look, you know, this is probably what I would change. Go to this over the next like couple of days. Give us, let us know how you go, and then we can um, start what ramping happens. up. Mm. And what yeah. each of it means as well, because I know that analytics is quite confusing to people that mm. don't understand it. Yeah, but it's really important, right? Absolutely, it's yep. Vital, yep. So. It's everything. So. Yeah, and how you can mm. then use it to tweak and upgrade the ad that you, yeah, the next exactly. ad you do. Yep. Helps you improve. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. For sure. Awesome. So, so how um, long? I did ask you this before. But you're not entirely sure, but how long does it run for? Uh, so um, at the moment, it's it's kind of like um, initially it was for four weeks, and we just yeah. said look, there's some people that might need a little bit more support more time, in this, yeah. so you know you can stay in it. So we have like a um, sort of a three month period of of um, coming in on a monthly basis, yeah. and then by that stage we would. Definitely aim to hopefully have you by the next um, the next stage of going into training and take you to the next level of um, yeah of what you need to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so by the end of um, the business splits, you're in a position where you've got ads up, you're getting recommendations, tweaks, you're getting someone to have a look at where you're at. Yep. And so you're at a certain level. Yep. So and also like um, you know once you do actually get leads coming through how do you how do you convert those into a sale because that's a whole you know diff- different process though for some people you know getting on the phone and actually speaking to someone and enrolling them we will offer um some of our best scripts that we use to help people enroll in a sale and it's applicable across you know a lot of different businesses mm-hmm. uh, and obviously you can tweak and fine-tune everything to um to be relevant but yeah just just having some of that structure yeah. Of understanding that yeah, this is this is what I need to do at each stage, and then um, yeah, turn that into bank. Mm. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and I, I mean, think from there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think for someone like myself, when I wanted to to learn, just being in there, and I was in a position where I wanted to learn and not have someone do it for me. Mm. I wanted to learn so that I could pick it up and do bits and pieces when I wanted to and when the time was right. Yeah, and I found that being able to have a group where I can do it myself, I can learn, mm. apply what I've learned, yep. get feedback, and then change yep. and get better results. Yep. And you can then, do it on your own time as well, so it's not like a set day that yeah. you have to be doing it, as long as it's sort of done by the next call. Yep. Yeah. Can, yeah, there's flexibility in it, which is yeah. good. Yeah. So it's I found it very valuable. Yeah, yeah. I think myself. for, you know, a lot of people, they see the value in, in, in um, you know, obviously using uh, Facebook as a uh, lead generation tool, mm. But it just, yeah. So many people that have come through have tried it and they've spent so much money and got nothing from it. Where it's just a couple of things that they could do to actually see some results. And before they go spending a whole lot more money, it's like if you do it this certain way, then you know you can start to take a bit more control over how you're doing everything, how you're marketing it all, and and the results that you're, you're getting mm. rather than just trying to you know, spend a whole lot of money and hope for the best. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we actually have a, a, a sort of a bit more of a structure around how to how to go about um, achieving your goals and, and um, scaling your business. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. really good. Um, yeah, I know because some people will be, you know, will see uh, investing in training or anything like that, they'll find quite difficult because maybe mm-hmm. they haven't yet tried Facebook and think, oh, well, I just need to do it. Once I do it, I'm sure it's quite easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they realise the extent of the information yeah. you need to know and be able yeah. to analyse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, there's there's definitely a lot of uh, 
it was very easy to get into overwhelm given that there is so much information but um mm-hmm. yeah just having having someone there to to actually point out what you need to know what the the fastest you know thing that you can be doing right now to get results yeah um so you know provided that you actually do the work you know we pretty much will actually will we'll guarantee that you'll get results um, if you do the work and follow what we say, um, and we actually back that up with um, with what we offer. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So, Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Anything you want to add to any other guys that we haven't mm. covered or asked uh, you? Or? Well, yeah, I guess uh, if, if anyone is interested, I'm um, happy to take on, a, I usually allow for about five or six calls a week um, for the, the Blitz or, or anything else, but... Mm. Um, yeah, maybe if, if anyone makes a, a, a comment or uh, let us know, we can um, jump on the phone next week. I'll send out my um, my calendar and, and we can book a call and go into a bit yeah. more detail and, and have more a talk info. about yeah how, how we can actually you know, work it for their for their business and, and start getting some results. Yeah, cool. Mm. Mm. So yeah, anyone has any more questions, just post them in the comments or hit up Liam and he can book in a call. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I highly recommend it. I yeah. mean, I've gone through the program and I've learnt so much. So I highly mm. recommend it. And I you're do too. Great. As a business yeah. owner, <laughs> business owner, and if you yeah, you don't have time. Sometimes you just don't have like you don't have the what's the word to use motivation or if there's nothing enticing you to actually learn. But having mm. a program this easy to follow, mm. you know, you're more enticed to go and learn and to actually do it for yourself as opposed to just putting it off like yeah. I've done. <laughs> yeah, and being able to check so, in and yeah. then and then potentially have a network of people that you've kind of created yeah. friends with that all going through the same. and yeah. stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Because as a business owner, sometimes you just put it to the side and think of more important things. I'll do it later. Marketing is the most important because if there's no marketing, there's no sales, right? Yeah, so, exactly. It's, it's yeah. funny actually, like some people don't see the value yet. It's yeah. crazy. Or, or I, um, I had a comment the other day, someone said about... Um, I just need to put an ad up. I'm sure it's really, really easy. I just I have an event and I need ten people just to come up. Like surely ten people will just arrive. You know, I'll, I'll just yeah. run it quickly. If you can just show me, and I'm like, oh, it's. Yeah. I wish it so was that much. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The thing is, it can be that easy, but yeah. you really need. To, there yeah. is a lot more in it Absolutely. than you realise. You, yeah. you have to know what you're doing as well. Like. Yeah, these guys have been doing it for how long, and they're still discovering new things every single day. Yeah, about well, Facebook. the, the so, platform's obviously constantly changing yeah. every day. So, like even for us, who who you know we're, we're involved and we're, we're we're on it every single day, and sometimes we're struggling to keep up with certain things. Like, yeah, oh, that's changed up. Changes. It's like, oh my goodness. So, yeah. for anyone else that's trying to run a business and have a life and family and all the rest of it, I mm. you know I I can. Totally imagine that it uh, it gets a bit full on. Yeah, and there's all <laughs> different rules as well that people yeah. don't know about, like different texts that you can't have in there, certain images and copy yeah. and copy and yeah. yeah, things that you just don't know. Yeah. that obviously you'll learn yeah. in the blitz. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, I had like a um a chat with my my beautiful mother actually the other night, and oh, she's hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she's um she's looking at running um like a health retreat in uh, in New Zealand, and um I said like you know so. Like what? What? What's your goal? What's your outcome? How many people do you want? And all that sort of thing. And how much are you going to charge? She's like, oh, we'll probably want about eight, eight women, and we're going to charge maybe I don't know, like three grand for the for um, four days. I'm like, okay, well that's cool. So, like, actually drilling down and looking at the numbers and going through everything. And she's like, oh, oh, I didn't yeah, didn't think about like you know, how much that would cost. And then it's like, mm-hmm. get to the end of it. It's like, well, actually, you're not. If, if you do it this certain way, then you're not going to come out with it being, you know, like there's 25 grand or whatever in your back pocket. It's mm-hmm. like there's a lot of costs involved. However, if you have a have a, um, a strategy with everyone that you bring in and you deliver value and all the rest of it, then you can offer something else and, and take them into another stage. Upsell and yeah, 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 yep, yep, upsell and all that. So, yeah, um, yeah just having an awareness of, of what you need to look for as you're growing out your business and mm-hmm. like having that short term and long term approach, mm-hmm. um, it can be the difference between make or break, really. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. And that's actually something that I really notice is that um, some people may have an event or something specific that they want to advertise for, yeah. um, which is great, it's fine, they can still get results. But I'm just starting to see some patterns with some clients when they're like longer term mm. and they constantly do a little bit of like content through Facebook marketing, etc., yep. yep. the results are really showing. Yep. Mm. You can definitely see, definitely see that their their visibility yep. out there on Facebook and what they're delivering and that content yep. and therefore 
the Facebook advertising that they're doing on a consistent, long-term basis yeah. mm -hmm. is really having that ripple knock-on effect in the future. Yeah. I don't know, do you, yeah, do you see sure. that? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, um, for, you know, clients that come in and they expect, you know, they're like, oh, I'll just pay a certain amount of money and I'll get these clients and then that's going to just blow up my business so I'm going to be successful and have all this money and all that sort of stuff. It's like... You, you like that's one part of the whole you know the jigsaw puzzle and all the cogs and different wheels within your business to actually make it successful it doesn't happen overnight so you mm -hmm. need to have have that that long-term approach of understanding that you've got to be consistent with it all mm -hmm. and and if you're doing it consistently with the right thing like the right strategies your chance of success success is going to be a lot higher rather than just kind of you know, doing something and winging it yeah. and getting, you know, kind of like, because you might, you, you may have, you might hit something and be lucky yeah. and, you know, get some results and get some sales and all that sort of thing. But then, you know, you try to do it again. It's like no sales come through and you go, well, yeah. what happened there? How, how does that work? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, having, having that uh, understanding of like what you need to do at each stage, um, but also, you know, the support there as well makes makes a huge mm. huge difference and just yeah. what you said by like having someone else to point out with if you want to run an event or run something having someone else to point out the like you said the costs involved mm. that you wouldn't necessarily think of having that other person's opinion because obviously we do a lot of it and we deal with a lot of clients running different things and products yeah having someone go okay well did you take this to, into account did you take the shipping into account yeah okay well did you take that into yeah. account yeah like yeah it's like I was, I was talking to another client um uh, last week actually and uh, they were looking at importing some stuff from China and um, like they can get it in for really really cheap mm -hmm. like it's a great product like a couple of bucks or whatever but the shipping like they didn't have a really good idea of how much it was going to cost for them to ship it to within ship it, it was just within Australia mm -hmm. and that pretty much like blew out all their, their profit oh, margins so it's yeah, like well, alright exactly. okay you know some people might look at that and go oh okay well game over but mm -hmm. it's like well actually no we just need to adjust our strategy mm -hmm. and look at what, what else can we do and be innovative about our, our marketing approach because it yeah. doesn't mean to say that it's um it's over but you just need to readjust um, it yeah yeah, yeah and Definitely. have an understanding how to do that mm. Mm. and when you get someone say look i just i just need an add up i need to get 10 people to my event next week or like 30 people to my event yeah what would you say in a situation like that? Oh, look, yeah, it definitely can can be done. Yeah. But um, there's a bit more of a, a conversation that needs to be had. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, look, well, how much are you spending? Like, who are you targeting? How much, um, how much, you know, are you selling? And, and how much can you budget? And all those sort of things mm. need to be taken into consideration. Because you can reach the right people. But um, if you don't have, like, a good offer and a good reason why someone should listen to you, like, mm. there's so many so much going on on Facebook right now and, and, and obviously social media that getting someone's attention and keeping it is, is like half the battle yeah. but then bringing them in to then convert them into sales the next next thing so it's like you know you can you can do an ad up and and, um, and like someone might click on it and, and, and purchase or whatever but like probably 95% of people aren't on there to buy stuff mm -hmm. so it's like if you get 5% 5% of people who do buy something, what happens to the 95% and they don't? Like, mm. what's your strategy to get back to them? To those, so, yeah. Retargeting. Um, yeah, so yeah. there's retargeting and obviously the content um, sort of side of things and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. So these are the kind of discussions that you have mm. in the business splits. Like, do you, you know, do people bring up these types of questions, you discuss yeah. them and then support them and help them? Yeah. Yeah, so Get to where they need. Yeah, so um, pretty much it, it, obviously having businesses at all different stages um, within the, the training, there's you know a bit of varying of what we offer. Um, so at each each point, we're, we're dissecting like what what's going on. What is there a problem? Are you achieving your goal, or are you not, or what do you need to do? Um, and and looking at like how can you how can you improve it? How can you um, optimize what you're doing and and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, there's a there's a lot that that we do mm. do cover in there. But um, at the same time, it's like not we do it in a way where we hope to. Um, well, our, our aim and our outcome that we hope to achieve is that we will get you the result um, and do it quickly to show you that it can be done. But mm -hmm. that's not going to be that's not always going to be consistently the case. It's like you need to have that you know to, to keep that that kind of um, steady flow of, of leads coming in or whatever, you need to be, you know, always changing up what you're what you're offering and, and what you yeah. how you're marketing it and, and all those and kind of things. Posting yeah. content and stuff yeah. like that as well yeah. constantly. Yeah. yeah. 
And on brand. <laughs> always. Yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. Expert always expert over there. On brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think yeah. that's probably... Cool. We've yeah. grilled yeah, you so, enough. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You've given us some great insight into what it's like, so thank you. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, like if, if anyone does want to have a, a bit more of a, a chat, I'm happy to speak to you. I'll, I'll put my calendar... Or maybe if, if anyone, anyone just comments and... and um, we can in always comments your calendar and, link in the yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. Um, we'll get in touch we'll and set up a time it. and we can have a bit more of a chat and yeah. go from there. We'll have a link to um, Liam's calendar and a little bit more info and stuff. So mm. Cool. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Excellent. Okay, we're All done. Right, well, done. Cheers for love. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Now we're just no, going to go relax, relax for a little bit longer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. If I can, I always do this wrong.